We often talk about the social contract underlying the welfare state, uh, particularly in Europe, but, but also in the United States. What we sometimes forget is that there's also an implicit generational contract um, that, that, that underlies uh, the welfare state. Um, when we're young, we pay uh, in in the expectation that we will uh, receive benefits in return um, um, when we're old. And, and, and it's the sustainability over time um, of this generational compact that, 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 that supplies the glue uh, to the social contract. Um, and if young people uh, uh, begin to think um, that they're getting the short end uh, of the stick, um, that does raise uh, the potential for generational backlash. Uh, uh, Pay-as-you-go social insurance systems have sometimes been likened to chain letters. They, they work great so long as you can get new people to join. The problem is that the developed countries uh, are running out uh, of new joiners because of the uh, uh, shifting, shifting demographics. And, and these tensions, uh, generational tensions, are already beginning to uh, come to the surface um, um, surprisingly and, 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 and unexpectedly, um, uh, or in, in places where, where you wouldn't necessarily expect them to, in Germany. Uh, uh, the uh, head of the youth wing of the Christian Democratic Party uh, a year or two ago uh, suggested that old people should uh, uh, pay for their own uh, uh, false teeth and uh, hip replacements. He was soundly chastised uh, 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 for this, but if you, if you look at the polling data, uh, there, 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 there's a rising um, um, disquiet uh, and resentment. Uh, uh, among young adults in, in, in many countries um, about how much is being asked um, um, in return uh, for benefits uh, which were inevitably, inevitably going to be much less generous. The, the other side of the you know, equation, of course, is not, it's not just whether youth will you know, quote-unquote rebel. Um, it's whether elders will insist on getting the deal that they've been, that they've been promised. And there you need to move beyond simple life cycle demographics and think about the changing generational constellation. And, and, and here, oddly, uh, I, I, I see a silver lining in the retirement of the much maligned baby boom generation, often you know, referred to as the, 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 the me generation. Um, actually, you know, in the United States, the senior welfare state uh, was built by and for the World War II generation, which everybody agreed deserved civic reward uh, in exchange for civic sacrifice. They survived the Great Depression, they won uh, the Second World War and, 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 and the Cold War. Nobody questions the entitlement. Um, baby boomers, I don't think, feel the same sense of entitlement. And what's perhaps more to the point, uh, Gen X um, coming behind them doesn't think they deserve it. Uh, uh, so I actually think there's, there's a potential um, for uh, rewriting uh, the contract and that as the generational constellation shifts and boomers move into old age, um, uh, not just in the United States but in Europe, um, that the, the e existing uh, uh, deal will become renegotiable. Uh, and that we won't have the same resistance uh, that we've had in the past, that Social Security will no longer be the third rail uh, of politics.